Hey YouTube, this is uh, MKM01, aka Mike. Uh, this is an intro with a knife collection, partial collection that is, uh, just some fixed blades I got. Been watching YouTube here for a few months, been checking out a lot of the knife guys, the gun guys, um, some of the survival shows. It's been really interesting, been learning quite a lot. Uh, just thought I'd share and give you my perspective on what I think and what I'm planning on using and uh, from time to time show you updates on what I'm getting uh, this is pretty much just a few of my fixed blades that I have right now I'm an active duty soldier so a lot of my stuff is tactical I uh, don't really get into the uh, the pretty nice gentleman folder stuff, the gentleman knives, I like the tactical hard use stuff, I like to beat the crap out of it some of the things I have, I just recently got, and I uh, plan on taking them with me over on my next uh, deployment. See how much uh, I can beat the hell out of them, and see how they hold up. Um, first one up here, obviously you guys I think have seen this. This is the Snotty. This is the Elite Boss. I got this one as, as soon as uh, Mike posted them on his website that they were available. Decided to buy it. Nice little... Knife that I can attach to my belt, carry it, it's lightweight, really thin, looks good, it's razor sharp. Uh, this one you might have seen, uh, this was on um, Medavad's channel when he did my sheaths for me. This is the Relentless M1 Mini Commander. You can see his logo there. Great little fixed blade, this is great for my kit good size, it fits in the hand pretty nicely. I got large size hands and I can get all four fingers on that thing. I love the way he does his uh, serrated edge on the back, the saw teeth, and it's razor sharp. Still trying to figure out how to keep this thing clean though. Gets a little uh, surface rust going on, some oxidation or something because it's pretty high carbon steel. But I like that knife too. Uh, this is one of my first major purchases as far as customs go I was looking for this as soon as I found them and um, this one is just uh, sick I plan on taking this with me and beating the hell out of it this is from Card Customs this is the C2 fixed blade as you can see his logo is cut into the circle there I know Menavad showed this one off when he had it making the sheath he did a great job on the sheath for this thing this is uh, definitely one that's going on my kit I plan on just uh, seeing how much this thing can withstand. I'm going to try and test it out on some steel, some rocks, whatever I can find. I want to beat the hell out of this knife. It just looks like it could take it. I think it's awesome. Nice, fat chunk of steel. Great looking knife. Great feel on it. The handle. All of it. Just sick. Love it. Can't wait for him to come out with some more knives that are available. Next one up, uh, you guys might have seen this one and might not have online. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, DJ, but American Kami. This is the Calubris. As soon as I saw that he had an available knife for sale, I had to jump on and purchase it. Love his stuff. Great, great knife. This is the uh, S30V. You can see his logo right there on the side. This is another one that uh, I plan on putting, putting on my kit, taking with me. You're probably wondering, well, how many knives can I fit on my kit? Well, you know, I like to change my stuff up every day. Depending on what I'm doing, where I'm going, I want something that's going to be readily accessible, easy to cut, and possibly, you know, stab somebody in the throat with it. This one's just, uh, just a wicked blade on that thing. Fits good in the hand. Great ergonomics. Handles are really grippy. Just feels freaking awesome. A lot of jimping on the back. You can choke up on the blade. Just sick. Love it. Another custom that I purchased uh, as soon as it came available. The uh, Skull, Skull D, or Skulled, however you want to say it, from Bawita Men Blades. Hope I'm saying that right. But again, another, another tactical knife that uh, I plan on taking with me and finding out how much abuse I can put it through. Great jimping here for the thumb, good grip. The handle, 
fingers line up pretty good with that. Fits in my hand really well. Just love that blade. He's one of my favorite makers. He's got some really great designs. Um, I'd like to see something like this in a folder, I think. Some kind of frame lock or liner lock. I think that'd be tough. I like the heavy duty beefy knives, the folders. But this one is uh, definitely going to be a user for me. See what uh, punishment it can take. I hope these guys appreciate the fact that I'm going to take these with me and uh, see what I can do to them. Another knife that I just like the blade. I bought this a few years ago. Um, it's a Fox Knives. It's not a custom, but it's it's one of their productions. This is the Tracker 2. Just love the looks of that blade. The double grind on there, or the triple grind, however you want to put it. That recurve. The, the chisel grind there. The Tonto blade. This one they actually made into a folder. I'm waiting for that to be released because I think I could do some damage with this thing. This is my outdoor kit knife. Take this out in the woods. Definitely do some damage with it. Great chopping knife. Good cutter. Get some fine cutting done here. Love the handles on these things. They're very ergonomic. Even though it's like a, a rubber polymer kind of feel to it. But uh it's definitely uh, comfortable. It's not too heavy. Definitely do some damage with this knife. Love the blade. Love the blade. So that's the Fox. As you can see, uh, just a few fixed blades that I brought out. Um, just getting started in the YouTube game. Thought I'd jump out there and throw out some of my collection. I've got a lot more knives. Got guns. Um, the EDC stuff is interesting. I like to see how everybody puts their EDC stuff together. Of course, my bag that I carry every day, my EDC would probably take two hours to film uh, with all the crap that I take to work with me um, just day to day. Uh, but I got a lot more knives on order. Got some more coming in. I got a lot more knives here. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys will check out my videos and uh, share them. Uh, it's been a great community helping out people right now. Um, this is for a friend of mine. You guys probably know uh, BTF. Hey, buddy. That's the only thing sexy I'm wearing right now. You want to see more than that, it's going to cost you. Okay, buddy? Um, you guys check it out. Uh, one of the things I, I try to you know, go by day to day. It's a little saying, quote that I have. Uh, two is one, one is none. Enjoy.